Nigel Farage has been fiercely criticized for saying Jews living in the U.S. hold disproportionate political power. The former UKIP leader, who has close ties with President Donald Trump, appeared to agree with the claim American Jews hold financial control over the political sphere. Mr. Farage made the remarks during a discussion on LBC radio station about whether Russian influence had really helped Mr. Trump be elected. After a caller who referred to himself as Ahmed told Mr. Farage he thought the pro-Israeli lobby in the U.S. was equally dangerous to alleged Russianing, he appeared to concur with a listener. The politician said well the Israeli lobby, you know, that's a reasonable point, Ahmed, because there are about 6 million Jewish people living in America, so as a percentage it's quite small, but in terms of influence it's quite big. After Ahmed claimed Israel has both the Republican and Democrat Party in their pockets, Mr. Farage said in terms of money and influence they are a very powerful lobby. The Brexit campaigner then thanked Ahmed from Leighton whom he said makes the point that there are other very powerful lobbies in America, with the Jewish lobby, that has links with the Israeli government, is one of those strong voices. Joe Glasman, head of political and government investigations at Campaign Against Antisemitism, has called for Mr. Farage to apologize for his deplorable remarks. It is common for countries to lobby their allies, and Israel is no different, but in his call with Ahmed, it was not merely alleged that Israel conducts lobbying, but that it is carried out by the entire Jewish population of the United States and that in doing so American politics are subverted, he told The Independent in a statement, counting all American Jews as lobbyists with disproportionate power and both major political parties in their financial grips is the stuff of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Mr. Farage should immediately withdraw his deplorable comments and apologize for them, or LBC should relieve him of his duties. We await Mr. Farage's urgent apology and in the meantime, we will be asking Ofcom to open an investigation. A spokesperson from the Board of Deputies, an organization which describes itself as a democratic, cross-communal voice, said Nigel Farage's clumsy use of the terms Israel and Jewish lobby interchangeably and his reference to their power has crossed the line into well-known anti-Semitic tropes. The remarks prompted anger on Twitter where critics argued the politician had perpetuated anti-Semitic stereotypes of Jewish wealth. Adam Langelben, a Jewish labor counselor, said the politician had gone conspiracy. He said person calls in and compares AIPAC to Russian collusion. Farage plays up influence. Interchanges Israeli and Jewish lobby. Worst part of the Farage Jewish lobby monologue was his six meters Jews remark. As if only Jews support Israel. Way off, said journalist Jack Mendel. Nigel Farage spewing anti-Semitic conspiracies over the radio, nobody cares because HES right wing, said one, Nigel Farage slips into anti-Semitic tropes of Jewish power and wealth. Shocked, I tell you, shocked added another sarcastic critic. Mr. Farage has fostered an alliance with President Trump and appeared alongside the billionaire property developer on the campaign trail and attended presidential debates to express support for him. Mr. Farage was also the first foreign politician to meet Mr. Trump in person and attended a Heroes and Villains costume party with him in New York last December. More about Nigel Farage Donald Trump reuse content